222 day, we will talk about Casper and its ties into IBM. And keep in mind that the connection into IBM with Casper's integration with the Hyperledger directly ties back into Stellar. Today, I want to talk about Casper and IBM in AI. And here from Cyprus to Minicore, it has become clear that AI is here to stay. And that is from CEO and co-founder of Casper Labs, who is called out as one of the top protocols out there in terms of enterprise adoption, at least. I'm not sure how Bitcoin could ever end up at the top of that list. In today's content, it's all about how Casper is working with IBM Watson X, which is an LLM like chat GPT to tokenize AI inputs and outputs in order to review and better control what AI actually responds with to create a quote unquote ethical AI. And of course, I don't completely trust this because a controlled AI is a censored AI. How, however, at this point in time, I am giving them the benefit of the doubt. And I will assume that it is only in terms of being able to increase accuracy. And here is a from the Casper chief executive officer on AI. The reason why everyone's so optimistic uh, about this uh, movement towards AI governance is because it makes what's a really, really exciting technology safe. AI is a wonderful technology that could that could be actually great mm -hmm. for uh, humanity. But as with any technology, if it, if it starts going off the rails and we don't uh, have adequate governance, I hate using the word control. Uh, that, that, that just sounds wrong. Uh, but if you don't have adequate governance around it, you know, yeah, weird things can happen as as we've seen. I get right? that. Like, yeah, I, I and also you know, I think I think that. Blockchain, you know, of all the technologies out there to create a single source of truth around all of the parameters of artificial intelligence, blockchain is probably the best one. I mean, it's inherently, yep. you know, as you point out, inherently immutable, tamper proof and uh, designed for multi-party transparency, which is exactly what you want when it comes to a technology like artificial intelligence. I am happy that he directly commented on the control of AI. And it's all about making these AI models transparent. This individual, whose name I won't try to pronounce because I don't want to insult them, of IBM, explains why IBM chose Casper. One of the primary things is that Casper is integrated into IBM Hyperledger, and IBM is heavily involved with Stellar as IBM actually approached Stellar so that they could help IBM create these kinds of products. As I explained in one of my APFII videos, I think it was either in part two or part three A. Casper CEO called out that other than IPWE, there are two or three other large projects that IBM and Casper are working on together. So a few months ago, Casper had a webinar with IBM and Gartner on AI. The Casper CEO is pushing further in Casper's AI ventures at the regulatory level, connecting a former member of the U.S. Justice Department, which doesn't exactly inspire a ton of confidence with, with me but that is just my own personal opinion that I will not comment on again here. And Mirnal, which is I think the first time I've actually tried to pr pronounce that right, also spent time with the FBI, which again, um, it doesn't exactly inspire c confidence, but it does show that C Casper is much more connected than a lot of people would think if they're only paying attention to price action. Here is an explanation and an overview of what was actually talked about there. So let's talk about the big myth first. The big myth right now is that AI and blockchain are not compatible technologies. Honestly, they're actually incredibly compatible technologies. If we think about the narrative out there right now, people almost make them sound like competing technologies. 
But moving on, if we actually think about the two technologies, they achieve very different things. AI is essentially trying to automate several tasks that require a lot of analog intervention. On the other hand, blockchain is an excellent governance and audit tool. AI's current problem is the fact that auditing it is incredibly tough. There are three ways in which blockchain really augments generative AI technology. I will go into this in more detail along with a groundbreaking demo. First of all, blockchain is completely tamper-proof and decentralized. Therefore, your governance processes are fully auditable, and you know that when someone says something has occurred at a certain time, you're certain of it. Second, it eradicates the need to manually serialize a sequence of events. Blockchain is highly serialized. Block 101 always came after block 100, and therefore any version of version control requires strict serialization, which a blockchain gives you. And then finally, blockchain, because of the innovative design of smart contracts, can automate several key processes, which will save a bunch of time and overhead. But first, let's step back and talk about Gen AI, Gen AI's two big problems and catalyze them into two discrete boxes, pun not intended. The first one, the first problem that you have with generative AI today is that it's pretty much a black box. You can't really reconcile what data went in, what outputs came out. There's no reconciliation layer to know when what happened and what the result was. And as a result, you can't really address a specific cause or attribute a cause for hallucination or bias. Furthermore, as we've seen in the recent press, a lot of personally identifiable information or copyrighted information has creeped into AI training systems. And this is a big issue. As a result of this, it leads to what's called a brute force conundrum. Training AIs requires an unsustainable amount of data and GPUs. Now, as an industry with almost unlimited capital right now, that's fine. Eventually, margins do come down. And Having a tight reconciliation system means instead of brute forcing the problem by overtraining to correct a bias, you can do it in a smart way. And that's done with versioning. Versioning today is prohibitively difficult, often impossible on AI systems. And we'll show you in our example and demo how this is done augmented by blockchain technology. As a result of these two problems, you have unacceptable levels of unbounded risk within the organization. Solving these problems makes the risks bounded and makes AI safer and easier to use. Blockchain is the most secure way to govern AI systems while being incredibly cost effective. On top of that, the Casper blockchain is hybrid right out the gate meaning every instance of a private Casper blockchain is the exact same software as the public blockchain, just configured specifically for your needs. Therefore, you get the benefits of the public blockchain, immutability, full decentralization, etc. However, if you have internal data management policies and with AI, you're managing a lot of data, you can get the best of both worlds. The best analogy here is really what happened with cloud computing. Everyone thought, hey, cloud computing is never going to take off if you allow on-prem as well as cloud. On the contrary, allowing the hybrid system of on-prem plus cloud allowed companies to mix and match and get benefits from both, massively increasing the usage of public cloud systems. And ourselves and all of us on the call feel the same thing is going to happen with blockchains as well. Moving on. The second thing that blockchains give, and Casper gives really, really tightly, is strict serialization. For any version control system, if you want to diagnose a problem and roll back to a previous state, you need very, very strict serialization. One of the big differentiators at Casper is the fact that we have no block reorganizations and we have no orphaning in our system. So as a result, you always know that actions in block 102 happened after block 101, which as you can imagine is incredibly important if you're creating a versioning system that is very, very dependent on the sequence of events. Moving on, the other thing that's very, very important is that in the Casper system, everything is highly automated. 
one master smart contract can service several different companies on the exact same platform, such as Watson X governance. Our smart contracting features include things like governance on upgradable smart contracts, and so the master smart contract can always be modified, something that we uniquely support. So as a result, the combination of these three things makes an excellent reconciliation layer for what's next and other governance platforms. And I'll include one more that explains how Brave AI works on Casper. So, you know, if there are slight delays here and there, it's because it's running live software. What we can see here is that the context or the active context that's set is Insurance Llama v1.1. Let me define what a context is. You know, the dictionary definition is something that says the circumstances for events, statements, or ideas from which they can be fully assessed or understood. And that's very germane to AI. In AI, to get specific about it, a context is a combination of the underlying model, and hence all the data that trained it, plus the parameters it's currently been set to. So this is the dashboard Alice has. She's a customer success manager. Let's move over to Bob. So Bob is an insurance agent. So Bob is logging in um, to interact with the software that Alice governs. He puts in a quote for an insurance. He says, I want a specific quote around specific parameters, and that's typed in. Uh, one thing to note, in the top right corner, you can see a session ID. This session ID is also stored on blockchain with every individual context. So when a context is operating, any session tied to that context is also captured. And you'll see why that's important when we start auditing it later in the demo. So as you can see, he gets a very nice response. Here's a quote for a 40-year-old male. This is what the payout could look like. All of this ties up with the actuarial tables because, you know, Llama version 1.1, as Alice had set it up, works really, really well. And here is a concise overview of three key takeaways from their webinar, which is where Tokenizer got those clips. And here are the takeaways. Version control is not only possible, but it is critical in AI. Its efficacy rests on the ability to accurately measure what information goes in and out. As AI economics settle into a more rational and less frenzied pattern, versioning will be a key step in significantly reducing the compute energy required to run AI. And of course, that c compute energy can tie into things like render as well. To tamper-proof information, look to automation and serialization. Trust can be considerably improved if information is made more transparent and tamper-proof. The most cost-effective and secure way to do each of those is to ensure that all information that enters the AI is serialized or timestamped and fully auditable, a task for which blockchains are perfect. Hybrid chains will lead the way in tokenizing AI. Running every single data transaction through a chain or any other database would be prohibitively expensive. However, it's possible to store a transactional hash, e.g. a receipt confirming that a given transaction occurred when and where it claimed to in a fully transparent public environment while keeping extraneous and or sensitive information in a private environment, which is exactly what the Casper network is. It is a hybrid public-private chain. So with Casper's ties into IBM and then even into ISO 222 and how IBM Hyperledger integrates Casper along with tokens and coins like HBAR, Quant, Algo, and a handful of others. And how Casper has two or three other large projects being worked on with IBM. It all goes back to show how Casper is much more valuable than what is reflected in its current price action.